discussion on prevention of coronary artery disease primordial primary and secondary prevention is classified into primordial primary and secondary primordial prevention is community level intervention to reduce risk factors and mostly not under the purview of the individual physician primary prevention is by controlling the risk factors secondary prevention is treatment to limit disability and recurrence please subscribe to this channel for future updates click on the subscribe button press the bell icon after that for all updates coronary risk factors can be broadly divided into non modifiable and modifiable age gender race bar ethnicity and genetic predisposition or family history are considered the non modifiable risk factors for cad prevalence of cad increases as age advances and it is more common in males a strongly positive family history of premature coronary artery disease increases the risk of cad hypertension dyslipidemia diabetes mellitus cigarette smoking obesity and chronic kidney disease are important modifiable risk factors for cad diabetes mellitus is such a strong risk factor that it is even considered as a cad equivalent by some in this era of regular dialysis programs chronic kidney disease patients seldom die of progressive renal failure but of cad smoking increases the risk of cad and reduces the life expectancy by 13.2 years in males and 14.5 years in females even second hand smoke as received by spouse and children increases the risk of cad by 25 to 30% smoking cessation achieves 15% reduction in mortality over 14 years a diet based on vegetables fruits whole grains low fat dairy products poultry fish legumes and nuts is recommended sodium intake should be restricted to less than 2400 mg in hypertensive individuals one needs to limit the intake of sweets sugar sweetened beverages red meats saturated fat and trans fat it may be noted that liquid calories do not improve satiety but at the same time contributes well to the total calorie load aerobic physical activity of moderate to vigorous intensity lasting average 40 minutes per session with 3 to 4 sessions a week is recommended it is useful in reducing blood pressure and ldl cholesterol levels very high lipid levels of the order of ldl cholesterol above 190 mg per deciliter calls for usage of statins for primary prevention high intensity statins can be considered in this scenario as in acute coronary syndrome when the ldl cholesterol level is between 70 and 189 mg per deciliter primary prevention with moderate intensity statin may be considered if they are diabetic and have significant other risk factors for cad it is reasonable to measure sgbt bar alt levels before initiating statins and while on treatment caution is advised in those above 75 years while initiating statin therapy screening for new onset diabetes mellitus while on statins is reasonable though in those with high risk of cad new onset of diabetes mellitus will not be a reason to discontinue statins in those with cad statins should be continued and diabetes mellitus treated concomitantly obesity is diagnosed when the body mass index is 30 kg per square meter body surface area or more diets for weight loss lifestyle interventions and counseling are the mainstay of long term management of obesity morbidly obese individuals may be considered for bariatric surgery in selected cases here are the first set of references second set of references please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for future updates and click on the bell icon for all updates thank you